All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, first of all, we're given this information. If we remember, g of x represents f inverse of x, right? So if this is your input, this is your output, correct? You plug 3 in, you're going to get 7 out. We don't know what the function is. But this is very important information because we know that g prime of 7 has to equal 3, right? Because whatever the inverse function, the input and the output are swapped. Does that make sense? So by looking at this problem, that's my first piece of information I'm, I'm able to draw out. That's very important, though, because if I'm going to find g prime of 7, so here's g prime. Here's how to take the derivative of the inverse function. So if you're trying to find g prime of 7, you're going to have 1 over f inverse of g of 7. Well, do we know what g of 7 is? Yeah, of course, g of 7 is 3. So that's 1 over f inverse of 3. Well, does our problem tell us what 3 is? Yes, negative 10. So therefore, it's 1 over negative 10, g prime of 7. 